What's up, good people? David Taub here from NextLevelGuitar.com. How you doing? Hope all is well, and I hope your guitar journey is going famously. What's happening? Uh, today, I'd like to do a little beginner lesson on how to get your chord changing to the next level. We all want to play songs on guitar, and that's very motivating. You know, you, you solely don't want to concentrate on songs alone, you know, but you know, songs is very important to, to every guitar player. And songs are basically made up of strings of chords. Some of the greatest songs written of all times may only be three, four, five chords, that's it. And you could be doing it and playing them today um, if you follow our methods. No problem, piece of cake. A lot of songs you're gonna encounter as a beginner guitarist are gonna be, you're gonna see the same chords and the same chord changes over and over and over again. And I'm gonna give you some exercises today that it's really gonna push you and get your chord changes to the next level and get you sharp so um, you feel confident tackling any song. Um, I'm playing on acoustic today, but you could do these on electric. Um, the basic beginner open chords that everybody learns at first are nine chords. If you can get these nine chords down, you could play thousands of songs just with these nine chords. And the chords I'm talking about are your basic open position chords. Um, chords like A, C, D, E, G, A minor, D minor, E minor, and C add nine. What I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna give you a long string of chord changes to, to do, and um, it's gonna be kind of atonal. It's not gonna be like a song, it's an exercise. But what it is is these changes and getting these chord change mechanics down and that muscle memory, that's the key. If you can master that, then you can do any of these changes um, and be able to play any piece of music that's put in front of you because let's say if you're working on G to E minor right and you got that change down no problem right anytime a piece of music is put in front of you that has a G to E minor because that's a very common change you're gonna be able to do it right so think of it like this think of these basic nine chords think of every combination of those nine chords possible on a big whiteboard right and you're gonna knock out G to E minor once you have that mastered You'll have G to E minor in your pocket as long as you practice regularly for the rest of your life. You don't have to master that change. So you're going to be at first going through this, you know, pseudo whiteboard, knocking out all these changes. And, you know, when I give you this long progression, I'm going to write out all the chords on the screen. And if you could master this, because there's going to be 15, 20 changes in this exercise, then a song with three or four changes will be like butter. No problem. You see, you want to push yourself on guitar. That's how you're going to get to the next level. Not by just playing the same old chord changes back and forth, back and forth that you know. What good is that? You have to push yourself into the land of uncomfortableness and where it's going to take a while to get a change down. And if you keep pushing yourself, and that's what I do with my students, you, you push to the next level and you'll get there. And I've done this before. You can look at some of my other lessons here on YouTube or go to our website at nextlevelguitar.com. On the website, we have you know over 800 video lessons. Uh, it's quite comprehensive. You'll love it. But um, if you want to uh, check out some of the other ones on YouTube, I've I've done this before called a long progression. And remember, when you're practicing this, write this progression down in your practice log books. And I'm going to start it off with some easy changes, and as the progression goes on, it's going to get harder and you're not going to get this at first so what you want to do is when you hit a change and you stumble you know circle it and then that's the change that you're going to practice the chord change mechanics on and you might have five six seven changes circled but that's okay because you'll knock them out and then what you do to practice those is just every day try to put that guitar in your hands even if it's only for five minutes and let's say you're practicing that g to c change because that's a tough one every day just sit there grab your guitar even if you're sitting on the couch watching tv and just go back and forth G. C with the right chord change mechanics. G, C, good technique. Back and forth, because what you're doing is you wanna get that muscle memory down. Eventually, you want that change to be automatic. Like, I could sit here and roll through all those open chords while I'm talking to you, you know, no problem, because I'm not thinking about the change. It's automatic. I'm not saying to my finger, okay, on the D change, finger, uh, D to G, finger two, I need you to go up to the low E string at the third fret, and finger one up here, and then pinky go down on the high E string, and there's the change. You know, it's, it's automatic. And you will get to that point too, and it, it might seem like, wow, that's a long way off, but I'll tell you, everybody goes through this. You can do it! You can do it! And eventually, you'll be like, wow, I used to not be able to get G to A minor in 
this progression, but now I can hit it like 15% of the time. Well, if you keep practicing that back and forth, back and forth, event, keep practicing the progression, now I'm like, wow, I could hit that change 35% of the time. And then you'll keep bumping that up. And then it'll go to 60%, 70, 80, 90. And then eventually it'll be like butter. It'll be like your easiest change. So I'm gonna write the chord progression, this long progression out on the screen. And uh, at first, let's take it with a nice slow quarter note at first. So you're just gonna basically do, I'm holding a G chord, and you're basically gonna do quarter note, one note per beat. So you're gonna be like one, Change two, two, three, four. Nice and slow. Don't try and do these fast at first. If you're strumming really fast, you're gonna have to make the change really fast, and you're not gonna do it, and you're gonna frustrate yourself. So slow and in time. Quarter note first, and then you're gonna get, after you got the quarter notes mastered, we'll go on to eighth notes, strum patterns, and whatnot. Nice and slow, maybe about this speed. One, two, three, four, G. C at nine. G. E minor. C. A minor. E. A. And so on and so forth. And you go through all the changes. Keep practicing that. It's going to take a while to get it down, but you can do it. And then when you're done, you know, look at the ones, circle the ones that you stumbled on, and those are the ones you're gonna work on, okay? Now, once you get it down with a quarter note, you could play all the way through it, and that might take weeks if you're just starting out, right? Then I want you to go on to like an eighth note strum pattern. It'll sound a little bit more musical. An easy one. Like at first, one of the first strum patterns most students get are like down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down. Okay, so, but stay on the chords for two measures a piece because that will give you a little bit more time on the chord. So you're gonna do the strum pattern twice. Down, down, up, up, down, up, one measure. Down, down, up, up, down, up, two measures, change. Next chord. Same progression, It'll sound like this. I'll just go through a few of them. G. C at nine. try this you know work on this with other strum patterns and then you want to move it to one measure per chord okay all right that's going to be harder because you're going to have to move quicker through the changes or you can put a metronome on this start off around 100 beats per minute um, but it helps you to stay on the horse if you fall off just get right back on so let's do uh, down down up up down up um, and one measure per chord starting on the G two three four G get good at that eventually you know do um like break the strum up and just do like a down down up change down down up change down down up you know it's kind of like that down down up down down up, down down because again this will get your chords your muscle memory going even faster g And you know, save this exercise and use it when you get to other strum patterns. Um, even if it has more of a 16th note feel, whatever. Again, this is a great exercise to really blast your playing up to that next level. So remember the biggest thing, you know, don't strum too fast. You know, once you get comfortable, definitely use a metronome. I highly recommend that because a lot of students, they'll start strumming slow and then they'll speed up as they go along and then at the end they're, you know, off to the races. So you really wanna have that constant beat once you get comfortable, not at first because you know, you're gonna be stumbling on the changes, you have the metronome, you have too many variables. Limit the amount of variables at first, but eventually add the metronome in. And go to our website at Next Level Guitar if you really wanna springboard your playing to the next level uh, because we have tons of these long progressions as well as all kinds of lessons for beginners, intermediates, advanced players, written lessons, jam tracks, it's so comprehensive. Right now there's 
over 800 lessons. Uh, we add new lessons every month. Soon it'll be over 900 lessons and growing and growing. It's a, it's a great website. You'll like it. It helps students all over the world with their playing. All right. I'm David Taub, co-founder of nextlevelguitar.com. Thank you so much for watching. You're the good people. And uh, keep on rocking on. Subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on that subscribe button. And uh, I'll see you in the next lesson. Rock on!